YouTube, this is James here from Retro Vlog Laugh Out Loud. Now today I'm bringing you a video which is comparing PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 controller together. I'll be looking through the buttons, the design, the new specs and the old aspects of each controller. Okay, I'm here with the PlayStation 2 Sony controller. Now the most annoying thing about this controller is all this cable and fiddly bits. But um I had a lot of enjoyment out of this controller with the vibration and the comfort of the rubber analog sticks as they are quite worn down with time. Um, it's a quick overview of the controller. I'd say the best thing about this controller is that the thing that has this is so if you put the controller down on a flat surface it won't um, push the button in. Um, this is quite a heavy controller um, compared to the PlayStation 3 but um, I've thrown this a couple of times and there's slight rattles in there but nothing too too much. Okay, and I've got a Sony 6-axis first controller here. Um, there's two 6-axis ones, there's this and there's another one which has a, a stronger plastic on it as this is really thin and rattly and not very compact if you drop it or anything. Um, this controller is really light for its weight. This is because it doesn't, ha doesn't have vibration or rumble in it. Um, this controller wears down very easily. My analog sticks are really worn, as well as the buttons. They're all shiny. Um, it's a really good controller. Um, the only thing I don't like is the triggers at the back. If you like push them down, they'll hit off a surface, and they're quite easy to break as well. Um, the two things that I do like about this controller is they don't have the big select analog button in the middle. Um, it has this big PS button which can turn off the PlayStation and turn on the system. Now it has a start and select button as well. On the back we have no cable, just screws, triggers and um, a USB port for the charger. Okay, here we have the old and the new 6-axis controller. Um, as you can see, the plastic looks a lot stronger. Um, there's a little weight added, but nothing too much. Now, um, I've had these controllers for usage about the same time, and I'd have to say the older one is a lot more worn than this, um, mostly because of the matte plastic. You can see all the shiny, glossy bits that you've worn down in time. But this has a more glossy plastic, so that you can see the the parts that you have haven't worn down or any scratches or that are invisible to see as well. Okay, now it's time for the extra part of this clip. Now you've all been wondering throughout this clip, what's the extra? Now this is the comparison between PlayStation 3 Guitar Hero controller and the second one. Now um, there's a massive difference between both. Um, I'll start from the bottom and I'll work the way up top. Okay, now um, the difference in this is obviously there's not many cables. Um, so from the bottom there is a clips for the straps and the straps are exactly the same when they come in the box. There's not much difference here so I'm not going to explain anything. The next thing we talk about is the shape of the guitar. It's a Gibson Les Paul a replica and the cool thing about this is you can get face plates that you buy. There's a clip that pushes the face plate off so you can put your new one on. Like so. And this can come off but I wouldn't want to take it off because you could snap any clips or anything. This is battery powered by AAA batteries, as you can see here. Um, I've only had to place mine once in the past year. There's a removable neck for packaging, which is also quite handy. Uh, the whammy bar is the same, start, select, uh, side, front, back buttons. 
There's also a PS button to sync the controller with the PS3 system and you can also activate and deactivate the system with this. They also have um, lights here, which I'll prove to you now, which tell you which player you are, 1, 2, 3 or 4. Also, uh, there comes with a sticker pack with Guitar Hero stickers, obviously, because that wouldn't be that much fun. And there's a, a strummer bar, which always sounds different, but if you pay attention to that, that must be pretty sad. Now, on the top uh, side of the the guitar, we have the buttons of X, circle, square, triangle, and L1, and they're both on each side because you can now change from lefty to righty flip depending on which hand you use. Also, a nice little Gibson sticker at the top. There's not uh, a lot of weight in this, but it is heavier than the PlayStation 2. Um, a lot harder plastic um, in case of drop uh, or wear and tear. So I'm now going to review the other controller for you now. Okay, here I have the Guitar Hero controller for Guitar Hero 2, which was originally out on PlayStation 2. Now, the major difference is that this comes with cables again, because this is PlayStation 2. And there's a, a lot of lightness in this, but there's a lot of plastic and creaks and fiddly bits with this. And still start and select whammy bar and strum bar, there's still these strap lock things uh, but the other controller does have a lot more things as this does not have body replacement it doesn't have PS button it doesn't have anything removable neck it's just plain and simple green, red, yellow, blue, orange strong bar that's it that's really about it for this controller whammy bar cable still has a nice Gibson look at the top um, as I said, there is quite a lot of weight difference in this. Um, so thanks, this is James from Retro Vlogs Laugh Out Loud. Please watch out, there's a lot more videos on the way. Um, most of my videos are from me as uh, I am a cooperative person with this channel. And my friend Wee Gav from the team is also doing videos on the way as well. So please look out for them. Thanks to everyone who comments, rates and subscribes just to keep our channel uh, on the way. Uh, to keep running and uh, get well noticed. So thanks to everyone who helps. This is James. Goodbye.